is about uh, prostate cancer and dr devanan uh, medical oncologist working past 20 years in uh, apollo madurai for a specialty hospital madurai so initially in the sense that uh, even the benign prostatic hypertrophy what we call it the bph is a common uh, presentation of the old age yes, old age in the sense say, oh, even above 50 people can have a uh, uh, symptoms like uh, you know like uh, difficulty in passing urine and is uh, there is resistance there will be a stent to, to start passing urine there will be a stent and then there will be some incontinence in, in, in difficulty in holding urine and so resistance and frequency in uh, frequency is time and again going for voiding in the sense so there will not be complete voiding if you have a prostatic enlargement which not necessarily be cancer so these are the symptoms which are defined for a benign that means non malignant non cancerous prostatic hypertrophy hypertrophy is enlargement of a prostate gland which every man has so the the special sometimes the special symptom for malignancy cancer could be hematuria blood in urine also should alert people to think of prostatic cancer than a simple enlargement whatever it is and if these symptoms are there urinary frequency stenosis urgency urgency means you cannot hold the urine you, you sometimes it will we can uh, land up in uh, leaking in the you know uh, pads or uh, even uh, without our control it will go so uh, these three plus immaturity are the main cause there is sometimes pain also can be there in the urethra uh, these are the symptoms for uh, prostatic problem so when you uh, see a doctor may, maybe initial urologist they will evaluate with ultrasound and what is called dre digital rectal examination uh, a feeling for the prostatic uh, enlargement or hardness uh, how hard it is or then uh, then uh, you can also do a psa what is called the prostatic specific antigen blood test so ultrasound digital rectal examination and psa of the initial test so guide whether this prostatic symptoms are due to a simple enlargement age related process or malignant transformation so if there is suspect if you have the psa is very high if a digital examination shows the median lobe is uh, there are two lobes either side and median side uh, middle of the finger on the if there is hardness which is felt which is very unusual hardness which is say we get consistency when you palpate when you uh, do a finger digital rectal examination the consistency is hard then doctor will get alert thinking about uh, prostatic cancer so uh, that way we can detect and then uh, if there is a suspicion they will subject patient for uh, uh, transurethral uh, urethral resection of the prostate if there is a suspicion of malignancy or they can go for a what is called a template guided biopsy If the biopsy uh, shows it is only a benign disease then they will have a, what is called uh, 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 they have a uh, 5 alpha reductase inhibitors which they can use to shrink the volume of the prostate uh, benign enlargement if they detected uh, if they detect malignancy then they go by the then they have to go for sco- staging work up the prostate cancer generally spreads to bones so initially they used to do a bone scan or we have what is called now psma prostate specific membrane antigen pet ct scan that will be more diagnostic and more informative than the routine pet scan pet ct scan so once staging workup is done if it is a metastatic disease then we have what is called we have what is called r1 manipulation either you have to go for a bilateral uh orchidectomy surgically removing the testis this is source of testosterone hormone this hormone is supposed to stimulate the prostate cancer and make it survive and proliferate so getting rid of the hormone source is our uh, main test testis is the hormone source for the testosterone uh so once they do that that will be uh, part of the treatment or maybe the only treatment is offer initially with the calutomate stuff Uh, a tablet which is used uh, with a uh, orchidectomy or if the patient prefers to have a medical orchidectomy 
they can do use LH or H analogs, which will be centrally acting. The depot injections are available. Uh, Gene or H analogs, or which are mainly used either subcutaneous or IM. So it will have a uh, it will have the same effect as a surgical architectomy in the sense that it, medically the testosterone production is cut uh, by centrally manipulating uh, the pituitary axis. So this is the metastatic. If it's a local disease, then they have to decide whether it is. Uh, you know, like uh, whether a patient goes for a total prostatectomy or a radiotherapy. So, these are uh, treatments available. And generally, uh, pay, and what is called, we have a Gleason sco a score, Gleason grading, uh, depending on which will assess the greatness of the tumor. The higher the grade, the less uh, likely to have a contained disease. So, if the grade is high, then we will look for a metastasis or uh, uh, incorporate systemic treatment even if it is localized early that is uh, maybe that is be wise to decide like that so these are the these are the treatment options available and then uh, uh, if you uh, could uh, detect it early in the sense if it is detected early there are certain group of patients which have very localized disease uh, which will be kept under surveillance which is uh, which is also a part of uh, initial treatment